Hey ladies and gents, Ro here, and welcome to Nono Films. And this is going to be another Tech with Ro tutorial, and in this tutorial I'm going to cover iTunes and how to basically manage your album's uh, import, uh, a song for example, and maybe even uh, just, just, just to get the album cover for that song within iTunes 12, the new version of iTunes that came out with Yosemite, um, which I do suggest you all upgrade to. It's free within the app store which can be found within the app store it should be like one of the first pop-ups that says uh, upgrade for OS 10 Yosemite now for free so I'm gonna go to iTunes 12 and I'm actually gonna load it up and I'm gonna go to about iTunes at the very top and show you guys here that I am running on 12.0.1.26 which is a very extended long <laughs> version number but for example um, f start off first things first I'm gonna I'm oh, gonna be here under my top tab my music tab and uh, be sure to check out my previous tutorials. I do explain some of the layout, the new layout. If you're not familiar with the layout, the iTunes 12, be sure to check it out. Um, I'll have a link in the description for that on how to get used to this much simpler, much faster as well. But I have a song here on my desktop. I don't know if you guys see it. I'm dragging it around. I'm going to put it all the way on the right-hand side here. It's actually a song that my friend made, and it's actually on iTunes now. And I am kind of promoting the song as well. So... I'm going to go to my music, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just simply drag and drop the song right into iTunes, right into my music tab. And this can be also be done, let's say you have a CD and you still have uh, most MacBooks um, now, especially the new ones, don't have an actual CD, <laughs> like where you can put in a CD. They have USBs. So I do suggest uh, you transfer from your CD to a USB, the music that is on the CD. Other than that, if you do have a CD drive and you can still put in CDs, you can plug in a CD and then your CD will pop up up here. If it doesn't automatically open, just double tap on the CD or you can go to Finder. You can go, you can go to Finder. You'll be able to find your CD on the left hand side here. Just double tap on that and you'll see your list of songs. Now all you, all you have to do is simply drag and drop them straight into My Music or even open up iTunes and you'll have an option here to import the songs as well. I can do a full tutorial on that if you guys would like me to, if there's a lot of you who would like me to show you an example of how to import from a USB or from a CD directly, be sure to leave your comment in the comment section below. But for now, I'm just going to do a simple drag and drop from my desktop. I have a song here and I'm going to drag and drop it straight into my music here. As you can see, the song went in. It didn't really give you much of a progress bar or nothing like that. But if you go to your playlist at the very top right, top here, go to playlist and go to recently added. And at the very bottom here, you'll see the song I added, which is called Bodyguard. As you can see, it doesn't have an artist. If you go, if you go at the top here, it doesn't have an artist and it doesn't have an album and it doesn't have a genre, nor does it have a ranking. And what um, rating should I say? So what we're going to do is, first things first, we're going to go to Bodyguard, and I do know who the artist is, so I'm going to click right here. Make sure you, you don't want to click right here. You want to click, okay, your song's already selected. You just want to left click right here, right at the end, right when, when you can type in the artist's name, right at the very beginning of it, and just left click once. It'll give you this little option here now. You'll be able to type in the artist manually, and from here I'm just going to type in the artist, which is... Way fair, and there, there you are. It actually puts it in for me because I do have previous songs from him as well. So here, I just typed it in all the way. You can also hit Tab to fully auto complete it. Now that we have the artist, we can actually find the song within iTunes since it is within iTunes. And most songs, if they're not a song that you've actually personally created, um, most songs that are popular or really old or that just used to be around and known um, will be able to be found on iTunes. Now that we have this song here, you'll see this little three dots right next to the song name. If you simply left click on that three dots and then you scroll down all the way and so go to show in iTunes store and just simply press that it will, as long as you have internet connection, it will take a little bit, it says accessing, accessing iTunes store and you'll be able to easily find the song within iTunes. There should be no problem at all. For some reason mine is taking longer than normal, but for now let me I'm gonna go back to that option. Show an iTunes store, hit that again, and there we go. I just had to do it one more time. But here are here's his song. It's a single bodyguard. I do suggest you guys check it out and uh, it actually helps me out and helps my friend out. And it's it's a really good song. And here it is. As you can see I just found it within iTunes. It's a bodyguard single. And uh, what I'm gonna do this is this is gonna be the album name right here, Bodyguard single. Hip hop rap is the genre. This is where you'll find the genre. You know, this is the name of the song Bodyguard, and the artist is Wayfair, which is I already had. 
as you can see what we're gonna do is gonna go back to our playlist as you can see we're under the iTunes store tab we're gonna go back to our playlist and we're gonna fill in the blanks here so as we saw the album name was the the name itself I'm gonna hit but I did here to select this I went over here I hit command a or you can also right click on this and go to copy just to copy the name and then I hit tab and you can actually tab over to the next area as well and then hit tab again now I'm in the album section and just in case if you don't know how to get that you can go straight under album as long as the song is selected go right here to the edge just click left click once and it will give you that little option to type in now I'm going to hit command V to paste or you can also right click and you can also paste from here as well well once it's selected or you can even go to edit paste at the very top right hand corner now that we have the song in there and single now that's the album name now if we go back to this three dots here we we'll go to show in iTunes store we will just see that it says bodyguard and that's the album name right here bodyguard is single so we're copying that exactly now from here also we also have it, the genre was hip-hop slash rap and then there's also an autofill because most of the songs are hip-hop slash rap there you are and also gonna add a rating of five stars because all my music is five stars <laughs> but for example here we are we have the song now we give we have these additional options we have go to artist go to album show an iTunes store now for example if we go to album this is gonna show it in our music now and it shows us the song here it is right here as you notice it doesn't have an album cover right now and which is pretty boring so and we want that album cover that comes with it if you go to show an iTunes store we can see that this one has an album cover and we want that album cover because we have the song so we kinda need that album cover so we're gonna go back to playlist we're gonna go back to the three dots go, go to album again <clears throat> here's the song right here and we have the we have the artist now we have the name of the song we have the album cover we have the album name and we have the genre which is hip-hop rap all we have to do now is simply right click on the album itself and then go to get album artwork as soon as we select this it will download the album cover now we have the album cover and which is basically all set and then if you refresh it it will actually change the color of the entire theme of the song which is how I want then we can also give this album a rating and there we have the song bodyguard so now let's say you're dealing with an additional song now you want to put that song within that same album this is going to be just an additional example another question I had previously so let's say I have another more of his songs here for example and let's say there's another song that belongs on that album so we're gonna go with this song named warrior and uh, the artist is Wayfair now we want to put it in the album which is gonna be in this section so since blank we're gonna put it in the album which is gonna be the bodyguard single album and just hit tab to tab over it will fill it in all the way and then the genre is gonna be just it's hip-hop rap and there we go now we have this it's a, if it's within that album and it's copied exactly the same word for word you'll be able to go to that album again go, go to album and you'll see that that song was just put into that Wayfair bodyguard album now that's that's the basics of <clears throat> but basically of managing iTunes and how you can edit the songs and put them in the albums uh, you would prefer and basically you just gotta make sure you type in the correct album name and the easiest way to edit them you can't really edit the names through here when you're looking at them through the album view that's why I recommend going to recently added or actually going to my music and then viewing the songs at the top right hand corner you can view them as songs and then you can edit them through here just simply clicking and then clicking again and then you can edit the name and change then you can also do the same thing with the album and then do the same thing with the artist if you need to change those up I'm gonna go back to albums view playlists and I'm actually gonna go and change this back because this song doesn't belong within that album remove it just like that and then we'll be able to tell that it is no longer has an album it's no longer in that album which is as you can see right here go to album it's no longer in this album be sure to leave any other questions or comments in the comment section below you guys I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible and I hope this tutorial helped answer several of your guys questions and uh, everybody have a great day. Later. Let my life be the proof. The proof of you.